Hey there, Morbid Maniacs. It's time for another spooky video. And for tonight's spooky video, I'm going to be talking about some haunted places in the Disney parks, Disney World and Disneyland. The whole reason why I'm making this video, I'm so excited to say, is because I'm finally achieving my childhood goal or dream of going to Disney World. I've always wanted to go since I was a child and I'm literally like one week and three days away from going and guys I'm so excited but like if you want to see all my vlogs because I'm sure I'm going to be vlogging all of that then be sure to head over to my second channel Mel Vlogs and go subscribe because I will be posting all of my footage on there. So without further ado here we go. <laughs> place on earth. Disney World has been making children and adults alike smile for centuries. However, I've found that even in the happiest of places, there are tales and stories. Stories which will spook you and leave you with goosebumps. Here are some of the supposed haunted places in the Disney parks. So we're going to be starting out with one of my favorites and this is supposed to be about Walt Disney's ghost. So apparently in July of 1954 Walt Disney had rented out an apartment which was above the fire station in the park and he did this so that he could watch the construction of the park being built. Apparently he would leave a small lamp on in the office which would be seen in the window. And according to the stories, even after death, Walt actually decided to stick around. One evening, a cast member turned off the lights and locked up, only for the light in the apartment's front window to come back on again. She went in, turned it off, and again, as she tried to leave, the light came back on. One cast member claimed that when the light turned back on, they heard a disembodied voice say, I'm still here. It's said that this has become a tradition for the cast members of Disney to leave a light on in an apartment above the firehouse. This is seen as a tribute to Walt Disney. And then we have the Pirates of the Caribbean ghost. So somehow during construction when they were building this ride at Disney World, there was a man by the name of George who was working and somehow he ended up passing away. Now, we're not exactly 100% sure how he passed away, but somehow during construction he passed on. However, it is said that his spirit is still lingering around on this ride. Past members like to tell George good morning and good night. It's believed that by not welcoming him or acknowledging him will make for some strange occurrences. You should never say that you don't believe in George while on this ride, or he will make the ride stop if so. It's also said that if you don't say hello or goodbye to George, phones will ring with no one on the other end. The ride will go down unexpectedly and other issues will come up. Then we have one of the most famous legends of the Disney parks, and that is the Haunted Mansion Ghosts. It's no secret that the Haunted Mansion is a spooky ride in itself, but it may not just be the ride itself causing all the scares. I'm sure you guys have heard of this story by now, but some guests have got the bright idea to spread their loved one's cremated ashes along this ride. And in fact, this has became such a regular occurrence here that the Disney cast members have like a monthly clean out where they will get rid of all of these ashes because it is a safety hazard. Apparently one mother at Disneyland had actually spread her child's ashes out on the Haunted Mansion ride. The boy died at a young age, but this was not his wish. His spirit is said to haunt the attraction and he has been seen by many cast members and park guests crying at the end of the ride. Then we have the Tower of Terror Caesar. Caesar the Dummy, a ventriloquist doll from the TV show The Twilight Zone, who would manipulate his hosts into committing crimes, now lives in the basement of the Tower of Terror. 
Just like George, cast members claim that they must always say hello and goodbye to Caesar or he will cause the ride to have issues. Now I've also seen a video going around of this ride. It looks awesome by the way. I'm not gonna be going to this part of the park, although I like to someday. I've also seen videos of this ride and it has a lot of like hologram, holographic ghosts. And on this particular part of this video, there is what appears to be an apparition of a spirit setting beside someone in the seat. And many people believe that this is not a part of the ride, but rather a actual spirit. And then we have the Liberty Square somewhat ghost. So in one of the windows of Liberty Square, there is a creepy doll which can be seen in it. And this doll is literally just sitting there staring at all of the guests as they walk by but many cast members have said that they have seen this doll move. And it also kind of reminds me of the Small World ride. This isn't really like an, a ghost story or anything, but many people have said that they've gotten like eerie vibes from this ride just because the way that the dolls will like turn their head and stare at you. And there's been many malfunctions on this ride as well that have gave people the creeps. And then we have the mysterious woman in white. People also often claim to see a mysterious and unknown woman in white along Main Street. She is said to be in all white 19th century clothes and many have caught the sight of her. She said to lead lost children back to the daycare center to be reunited with their parents. She is said to be a good, kind, and friendly spirit. So the next time, you're at the happiest place on earth. Keep your eyes open and lights on, for you just might catch a glimpse of them for yourself. Oh my god, like you guys knew that I had to make something spooky about Disney because like everything that I like, I've gotta make something spooky about it. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Disney, please don't sue me, I love you. I just really love spooky stuff, you know, and these are all just speculation. They're not like fact, so we don't know if they're true or not. But I definitely believe in ghosts. I definitely believe it's a possibility and I would love to see one of them while I'm there. I'll definitely keep you guys informed, but let me know what you guys think and how you ever experienced anything spooky while you were staying at a Disney park. Please be sure and let me know because I would love to. And also, like I said, be sure to go over to my second channel, Mel Vlogs, where I will be posting all of my vlogs and clips from that trip on there. I'm so excited, you guys. I can't freaking wait. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, please give me a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and become Morbid Maniac. Also, be sure to hit that bell notification. That way you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in the next one.